take action regardless of how you feel. I'm getting right into it on this one, right into the meat and potatoes. No waste of time, guys. So once you learn how to take action regardless of how you feel, you tap into the limitless potential that comes along with staying consistent. I'm going to say it again. This is a tweet I wrote recently. So once you learn to take action, regardless of how you feel, then you tap into the limitless potential that comes along with staying consistent, right? We It's cliche, but it's cliche for a reason. You know, that staying consistent is how you reach your goals. You know, you have to stay consistent on what you're doing to reach your goals, but no one talks about like how you build that consistency and how you do that. You're not going to be able to stay consistent if you only do things when you feel like it, right? So when you when you take action, regardless of how you feel every day on these habits that you're trying to build, that's when you can stay consistent. Like I've gone to the gym on average, like, you know, four to six times a week for the last like 13 years, right? You know, there, there's been seasons in my life where I've gone closer to like three, but there's been seasons in my life where I've gone like every single day for, for months. I'm in one of those seasons right now. I've just kind of like reignited my passion. You know, I've, I'm going to be doing a powerlifting competition in six months. But I'm just saying like, there have definitely been times where I did not feel like going to the gym. Right? I would say like more often than not. You know, even though I'm a fitness coach, not like I just wake up and I'm like excited to go to the gym. You know, I would say more often than not, I do not feel like working out. Okay. If I only went to the gym when I felt like it, like <laughs> if I only like, if I was just like, okay, I'm only going to go to the gym when I feel like it, I'd be going like less than one time a week. I mean, probably not even that, right? It's like, you don't just do things when you feel like it, when you're in the mood to, if you only do that for the goals that you really want to accomplish, then you're not going to accomplish anything. But the thing is, like, I always feel better after I get that workout in, right? It's like, what other things can you say that about? You know, and there's probably other things, but it's like, I always feel better after I get it in, even though I didn't feel like doing it in the first place. You know, I, I don't always feel like taking a bunch of client calls every day, right? It's just the fact of the matter. It's like, I'm not a robot, right? Um, you know, sometimes I'm not in a good mood. But am I going to let that get in the way of serving my clients and living my purpose? Hell no. Hell no, I'm not. I don't always feel like going to sleep before 10 p.m., right? Sometimes I just want to, scroll TikTok or watch Netflix, you know, binge Netflix or something like that. But do I give in to that? Now, 99% of the time, you know, I, I read a book to wind myself down and I get in bed before 10 p.m. So that the next day I'm firing all cylinders. I'm in a good mood. You know, I'm, I'm just cognitively there and I'm able to to serve my clients to the best of my ability. You know, there, there's been times like, guys, like, like I said, I'm not a robot. Like there's been times where I've been super down, right? I remember when I was training clients in person, it's like, I always had to be like super positive, always had to be motivating them in person every day. But sometimes, you, you know, you're just not feeling it, but you don't let that get in the way of serving others and getting that 1% better every day. You don't let those feelings or those emotions like stop you from taking the actions that are helping you become the best version of yourself. Shout out to, to Andy Frisella who does like 75 hard. Um, I was listening to his podcast real AF. Um, and he was talking about the concept of making laziness or negative thoughts that come into your head, like 
creating, making those a trigger to take action. And I've adopted this into my life ever since I heard it. And I, I highly recommend it. So like the next time you f- you're feeling lazy or you're feeling down, train yourself to take action immediately when those emotions or those feelings or those thoughts creep into your head. If you do that enough, if you do that over and over, it takes time. Like it's not going to happen overnight, right? But when you do that over and over, you'll turn those feelings or those thoughts into a trigger to take action. Like eventually, like every time you feel like those emotions or those thoughts or those feelings, and then it's like, it literally becomes a trigger to take action right then and there. Alex Ramosi talks about how identity is formed through actions. So like, you know, certain traits that you have, you know, or or an identity that you want to adopt, it's formed through the actions you're taking. Like if you think of someone who's productive or if you're trying to be productive, it's because they get tasks done, right? It's like they, they take the actions that prove that they're productive. If you think of someone who's like creative, it's because they create things, right? It's not just like, okay, this person's creative. I just think they're great. No, it's because they're creating things to show that they're creative. If you think of someone that's lazy, it's because they don't do anything, right? It's like these actions show yourself what your identity is. And when you frame identity in this way, to me, it's, it's really empowering, right? It makes me feel like I can have whatever identity I, I want. I just have to take the actions that proved myself that I have that trait or that identity. So like, if you want, you know, the identity of being a healthy person, you just have to meal prep, and you have to work out, right? If you want, if you want to have the identity of like, you're a good leader, then you just have to serve others, you know, share what you know, and help them reach their goals. So whatever you want this year, like whatever identity or whatever traits, whatever, whatever you want to accomplish, start taking the actions that show yourself that you're that person. Take the actions to take control. If this was helpful for you or inspiring, then please like the video. Please subscribe to join the Fitness Junkie movement this year and make 2024 a year of massive growth and self-mastery. I'll see you guys in the next video. In the meantime, elevate every damn day. Love you guys. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.